Well, welcome back, folks. Going down to the bow, going away for a few days, and uh, it's glorious at the moment, glorious. But today, I thought I'd show you some of the sort of things I have to do, sort of pre-departure, if you like, uh, from a berth. There's the boat. And uh, let's jump on board and show you what I do before uh, we get away in it. Uh, and the sort of checks you have to check with an inboard engine. Uh, most people are familiar with outboard motors, if you've got boats but not everyone is familiar with an, an inboard engine. Inboard diesel, I'm running a Volvo Penta 41P, six cylinder, 200 horsepower. Now let's jump in the boat and show you what it's all about. Let's open up. First thing I'll do is open the door. It's a sliding door on the uh, 805, Mary Fisher, and the next is the most important one, or one of the most important ones is open the hatch up and put the seawater inlet seacock open. It's closed at the moment, I always close it. So let's just open that. Now, anyone who's owned a boat with an inboard diesel will sometime in their life forgot to open that and then realise either too late where you burn the exhaust up, there's the exhaust there, the exhaust tube, you either melt the tube or you melt the exhaust box, one or the other, but it's costly. So that's one of the things I'll get into habit wise is doing the water straight away. Now I'm going to lift my carpet up and get to the engine, which is just under there. I have carpet in there, as I use it as a dual boat for going away, keep the missus happy, happy do days. So a question of opening the hatch up, and then you have another couple of boards there that you have to lift as well, and um, get them open. So it literally just open up, Take them out, put them somewhere safe so they're not going to fall over. There's the first portion of the engine. Let's get the other one open. They're fairly heavy. Oh, sorry about the camera all over the place, but that's what happens when you're filming and doing. So there we go. Six cylinder Volvo 41P. And it's a TMD 41P that is. So let's talk about some of the components. So first off is, which most people will probably recognise, is the uh, fresh water coolant. And just give that a check. There's no high and low marks on it. So make sure it's, there's, the coolant is the right level. There is the dipstick. Right there, uh, I've checked it already, so I'm not going to dip the oil. I know it's all good. Um, we don't lose any oil on this engine, it's really good actually. There's your turbo, right there, air filter, your intercooler, which calls the air into the turbo, because anyone knows cooler air gives you more boost pressure. This component just down there, there is the heat exchanger. So what that does is the fresh water, oh sorry, the seawater comes in through the engine, through the pump, through the engine, and it cools down the fresh water. And then obviously cools, keeps the engine nice and cool. So one of the important things of that is keeping that clean because if you don't keep it clean the engine will start to get hot especially at higher rev range. That there is for obviously topping up with oil. What else can we talk about? Ah I know this component here. So that is the exhaust elbow. Water is injected from that hose into the exhaust elbow, which cools 
the exhaust uh, fumes so it doesn't melt the rubber pipe and also exit the, the coolant water as well. Down there is the gearbox just there and there's an oil dipstick for that. I've checked that already as well. Another component to check is that there which is my diesel filter or one of them anyway so it's a Ray Cool diesel filter it's getting a little bit dirty there's a little bit of bug in there just a little bit and last but not least is that as well so that's my seawater strainer so that's uh, like a filter that filters out any uh, bodies in the seawater quite often night you'll get little bits of small shells seaweed so you have to undo the lid take the gauzy out and give it a clean and uh, put it back and happy days note to yourself make sure when you put that lid on it's absolutely still perfect because if it's not you're sucking air and you won't get a proper coolant water so there it is there's the engine there's the checks you do and that's what I do every time I go out just to make sure that there's no oil in the bilges, there's no water in the bilges, there's nothing untowards, and it's all hunky dory. Because the last thing I want is to be calling out the RNI or anyone like that. I want to I want to make sure that I've got everything checked and we're safe at sea. So, so there we go, a little bit of info on uh, what's what I do before uh, getting away on the boat. Hope you uh, enjoyed. Don't forgive us, give us a thumbs up. And if you've got any questions about the Volvo engine, I know a few bits and pieces about them. Don't do all my maintenance on them. And don't forget, there's other, well, check out my videos, actually. There's videos on my engine and do maintenance on them, like oil changes and coolant um, checks and changes and, and seawater flushing side of the engine. So, uh, yeah, check it out. And uh, all importantly, if you wouldn't mind subscribing, if you're a regular viewer, that would be fantastic.